Catskill News at 2 with Cynthia Loam. Hi, good morning everyone, and welcome to our first webcast of Catskill News at 2. I will be your host for today, and we will conclude with the daily weather forecast for this week. Now to start off with our breaking news, just yesterday a report had been made that a local farm had been affected by the mass movement of soil creep. We will now go to Maxine Winnebago, who has our story at the El Dorado Ranch. Maxine? Thanks, Cynthia. It's a very wet and chilly day up in the Catskills. But as you can see, soil creep has shown some devastating effects on this bridge. By definition, soil creep is an extremely slow form of mass movement where water in the soil starts to freeze and soil particles in the soil are pushed down by ice and gravity. This process is too slow to be seen in action, but as soil starts to sift, so will this bridge. This bridge will probably never be upright again. The owner here at the El Dorado Ranch is extremely devastated. No, my bridge! My beautiful, beautiful bridge! Why? Soil creep has also affected Farmer Joe's fences. These fences are an extremely steep slope, and this causes soil creep to be increasingly effective. We even took the time to visit a local school and ask a couple of students about their opinions on soil creep. So, Alfonso, how has soil creep affected your life? Like, I always have to move with the soil, when it's like moving, I'm right here in the soil, like that. So I'm going to move the soil. How about your family? Move them too. Soil is like... Soil. Do you like it? No. Why? I think it's bad for the environment. Thanks, Alfonso. I'm not done. So, Donnie, how has soil creep affected your life? Soil creep has moved me, not only in here, but physically. I mean, like, five seconds ago, I was, like, right over there, and now I was, like, like right here, like, a couple millimeters, if you look down, like, my foot was, like, right here, but now I'm right here, because that's how soil creep is, it's a slow-working thing, and, uh, but, uh, oh, look, now I'm over here! Thanks, Donnie! Even the slope of this hill causes the rate of soil creep to increase with the addition of the excess amount of precipitation that will infiltrate the ground. The outcome here is truly, truly tragic. Back to you, Cynthia. Truly, truly devastating. We didn't want that to happen to my bridge now, would I? To give you guys a better idea of what soil creep is, how it is formed, and what it does, here's a diagram. If you look at the soil layers, they are curving because of soil creep. Notice the crack roads and leaning poles as well as the bent trees on the steep slope of this mountain. This is also another example of how soil creep affects features in areas such as this. To learn more about soil creep and other forms of mass movement, visit your local library or your school teacher. Now we move on to the weather for the week. I'm Cynthia Long. Good night.